G'day guys, Matt here from Not In The Manual. Today I wanted to make a quick video on the Tesla app update. Uh, there's been a pretty cool change to the app update. I downloaded it last night. If you're not sure how to update your Tesla app, I'll just show you. Go to the App Store or the Google Play Store. Go into Search. Search for the Tesla app. This is the only way you can update it. It doesn't automatically update. And you go into the app screen here and it will say update there instead of open. And that's where you can update your app. I think they do that for security reasons. So your app, uh, it, it's only updating when you want it to update and it's not interrupting your connection with the car. So that's, that's, that's how you update. Now I will go straight into the Tesla app here. So I'm here charging at St. Ives Shopping Center. I'm waiting for my daughter to finish work. I'm sucking down some free electrons here. You can see I'm nearly at 100%. Uh, not too far away, charging 11 kilowatts. Now, before I get started, I'm look up here in my loot box and it's pretty empty. <laughs> uh, if you guys think that my videos have, have helped you make a decision to buy, uh, or you found them helpful and you're about to buy a, a Tesla product, it'd be pretty cool if you could use my referral code as a, as, a, as a thank you, but you will also get some credits for that. So you benefit and I benefit as well. <clears throat> yeah, that'd be great. Uh, I'd love to log in here one day and see some credits in there. That'd be pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, just, just consider that if you found my videos helpful. Anyway, just thought I'd quickly mention that. So the update, there's there's nothing really else has changed in the app. It's just down here in the location. So if you go into the location, you've now got this extra bit at the bottom here that says navigate. If you click on that, you can put in a destination. Now, I'm going to put in... Sunshine Coast Supercharger because I will be doing a trip up there in June and we'll just do Sunshine Coast Airport. So you can see here now it will actually plan the nav and you can see that here on the map uh, going from Sydney heading north up through the Gold Coast, Brisbane and up to the Sunshine Coast up here is my final destination. And you can see all the charging stops I will need to make and it's not too many and you can actually lift this section up here and look at all the 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 charging super supercharging stops so it gives you the arrival state of charge at each of those superchargers and tells you how long you'll need to charge there i honestly don't think this is very accurate looking at that port macquarie one from 13 percent uh up to like even 90 or 100 percent that's really only going to take about half an hour not 54 minutes so i think it's got some bugs to iron out here it's not super accurate but at least gives you a bit of an idea of how often you will need to stop and charge i know i will definitely need to stop at all those superchargers i just think the the times that it's giving me aren't aren't entirely accurate because i know i've, I've supercharged at those locations before and it definitely doesn't take that long to even get to 100 percent um, to charge from 13% to 80% in this car, if I'm not sharing a supercharger, would only take 20 minutes at the most. If I'm sharing a supercharger, possibly, you know, maybe that's they're factoring in. But this is a great start. You can see here, it gives you that, that trip overview. It tells you how long it's going to take you, 10 hours and 32 minutes. I'm not sure if that includes all the charging stops. Uh, I, I think that uh, it possibly could be including the charging stops, but yeah, this is a great start. This is really cool to be able to look at this in the app, uh, but it's well short of what you get from other apps like a better route planner. So you can actually send that route plan to the car by clicking send to car, and that's a pretty cool feature. This is just shows you Tesla are thinking here, uh, adding, in, adding in extra features. Uh, you still can't, if I just go to a supercharger here, and I can send that to the car and it will navigate to it automatically, but you can't just click on that and, and use the navigation built into the app. You've actually got to go here and, and, and actually type in a location to, to go to. So yeah, that, that's a pretty cool feature there. There's not, I haven't been able to see any other changes here. Let's have a quick look at my charge stats. Uh, you can see for the last year, uh, so you can see at home I pay 21 cents per kilowatt hour for electricity. It's averaged out my supercharger costs, so that's still possibly including some of my free supercharging that I used last year. 
Uh, but you can see there, you know, it's a pretty significant saving compared to putting petrol in the car. All my work charging is free off solar panels uh, and my home is a reduced cost. You can see they really haven't done much supercharging at all. Obviously, if you rely on supercharging or paid public charging, you're not going to have as big a savings as I have. But yeah, look, that's pretty significant. Even if we look for the month, uh, you can see there $206 a month and 65% uh, of my charging done at work. Normally, that's pretty close to 100% of my charging is done at work, but I, I've been charging to 100% at home just as a little bit of an experiment. Anyway, that, that's why it's showing up some, some home charging there. So, what I, if for comparison, let's go and have a look at a better route planner. So, if I plan in a better route planner to Sunshine Coast Airport, click plan. Okay, you can see here now we get a lot more detailed information. Uh, so, you can see the Tesla app is far short of this. It tells you, uh, we can see here that Port Macquarie one, 20 to 65, 15 minutes as opposed to the 54 minute charging stop it showed in the, in the app, uh, in the Tesla app. So this is a lot more detailed. Uh, you can see there, this is still the far superior way to plan your long trips. And it's telling me uh, 10, 10 hours and nine minutes just for the driving. But if you add the charging, one hour and 24 minutes of charging, it's 11 hours and 59, 1,014 kilometers. So yeah, you can see the Tesla app doesn't add that charging time to that total. So it's got some shortfalls, but it's a step in the right direction. And this is how Tesla work. They release the feature and then they improve on it over time. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool to see there. Uh, you can see a better route planner is, is just such a great app. And it connects to my car and it will automatically adjust to the economy of the car as we're driving. Too many features to go into in this video, but I just wanted to make this quick video tonight just to show you that new navigation feature in the app and how you can update and let you know that that's sitting there. Just, you know, I think just check once a week or once every two weeks, you'll see that there is a Tesla app update and it's pretty cool to just do that every now and again because there may be new features or security updates and you want to make sure that you're keeping your app up to date. So that's that's uh, all I wanted to talk about here tonight. So yeah, really thought I'd, I'd point that out. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you learned something in this video and I'll catch you next one.